Vengeance is the hard one. <laughs> no, Vengeance is not the hard one. <laughs> I say this as somebody who has done a lot of Vengeance. Same here. I got that 307. Oh, you have a 307 now? Yeah. Did nice. it yesterday. Still a 101 for a one lap, though. Yeah, I can't get below 102 right now. Yeah, right. that's fair enough. It's not easy. There we go. And uh, Mikey has a bit of a cleaner boost line. Gonna give him yep. a slight lead. But on a track right. lo as long as this, that means Mike basically and nothing. Metallica both taking the longer of those two op longer of the two off road jump options, I believe. Yeah, and it works for both of them. Yep. Actually, Metallica might gain back a lead here because Mikey's gonna have to cancel his boost before he. Oh no, he won't. He'll get there. But Metallica can hold it longer. So now they're looking. Let's see how they hold through here. Oh, a little bit of a frame hitch for Mike. Mm. Yeah, they're looking pretty much even though. Yeah. Like all Ubu tracks, I guess it's going to come down to the two hardest spots. Yep. And they both take it very cleanly. I think Metallica yep. took it slightly more clean. Yeah, they are dead even right now. Hold the boost oh, yeah. almost the same. Almost to the frame. Start the boost almost to the frame. Yeah, that's... Mike this is, is a close slightly one. ahead. Ops to take the harder... Ops to go for the riskier long boost. Mm -hmm. And so it works out. A bit of a lead coming through. All right, let's but go to the here's the, here's the... It's the really hard to see. Here. Mikey makes it. Oh, the Metallica Metallica dies. almost did. Barely clipped the last rock. Wow. The 141 out of Mikey, that is very excellent. The full track world record was just obtained uh, earlier today, I believe, with a 501 from Ace. Yeah. So, uh, that's, that's about as sub five. Sub five will happen eventually, but who knows? Maybe, maybe Mike will get the sub five right now. No, he won't. Um... No, he won't. <laughs> I can dream. But this is looking Sorry, pretty uh, good for Mike. It's still one death away for Metallica. Like, they could pull this back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Metallica could definitely bring this back into their favor. Very nice boost. Excellent. That's the kind of boosting I like to see. However, Mike was clean through that soft hairpin. Let's see how Metallica does. Mm -hmm. Also yeah. clean. Pretty much a little wide. Mm -hmm. I believe they started that boost a little bit early. Yeah. But Mike just has a much bigger lead now from cleaner boosting in general. Yeah. Metallica's not quite cooling down as long as they could be on a couple of spots, and that is costing them. Yeah. We're still not underheating, at least. Yeah, however, knowing there was the death, they're probably going to go for the... No, they're not going for the harder boost. Hmm questionable. I Mike suppose. with another clean tunnel. Yep. See and how Metallica he's gonna does. Get... A little bit of a Wow, spray. 141. No death in the tunnel. No death in the tunnel, though. This is gonna be a um, low to mid 140s. Mm-hmm. Looks like 144. 143? That's not bad. And I believe I Metallica's times that. do save, so that is a real lap record. Mm-hmm. Well, good time for it. Yeah. Still, gonna need something massive to come up on this lap. Mm hmm Yeah, Mike needs to die at least twice. Which is possible because Gauntlet, but yeah. it's Mike. Not something I would entrust uh, my race onto. No. At least I would hope I wouldn't have to trust it. Excellent boost out of Metallica, though. But Metallica's playing very well, it's just Mike is a monster. Yeah. If Mike wins this, he's pretty much going to be ranked number two right behind Ace, going into double yeah. elimination. His tiebreakers are insanely good. Mm-hmm. Because he's 5 0 everybody except for Ace. Who beat him 5-1. Yeah. 
He 5 0 you, he 5 0 me. <laughs> he's Who else did he 5 0 Looking he good against Metallica. He 5 0 Gale. <laughs> like, he 5 0 a bunch of strong players. Yeah, Gale isn't a pushover. Oh, Gale's really Metallica. good. No, no! That was a 5 0 4, 4 from, Mike, from Mike. Jeez. I believe both of these players play on keyboard. I know yeah. Mike does, but I don't know if Metallica does. Inferno. Hmm. Another risky pick, but hey, who knows? It may be, uh... Yeah. Mike's on a flight stick? Mike's on... Oh, I didn't know that. Thought he played on keyboard. Hmm. Okay. Whatever well, he wants. Whatever floats your goat. <laughs> no, he's there's no kappa. He is actually on a flight stick. <laughs> yeah, I heard that David Stubbs was, but I didn't know Mike was on the flight stick too. Like, I guess the secret to being good at Mongaza Speedway is a flight stick. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... It gives you a, the throttle precision of a keyboard mm -hmm. with a lot of the analog input precision of an N64 controller. Yeah. I have a $100 gaming keyboard. I'm going to use it. <laughs> well, until Thursday, I'm on a on an old gaming laptop. Hmm. So, I'd like well, to be able to use a uh, better keyboard. It doesn't take a monster to run this game. No. Oh no, a little bit of engine fire coming in from Metallica. Losing a bit of time. <laughs> and actually, Mike's going for Mars. That's an interesting pick. Yep, All right, players have been given the countdown. Yeah, so we're seeing Bullseye versus Mars. I think Mars might have the upper hand here because he's got the uh, longer boost. And Bullseye Crash is a lot easier. Yeah. Bullseye can make a couple of more precise lines. Can take a lot of more precise lines, obviously, because he's Bullseye. But... Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to be seeing it. Here we go. Match point. Mikey wins this. He gets his fourth 5-0 victory. Jesus Christ. Like I've been saying the entire time, of our top two players, Mike is the more consistent by a little bit. Mm. But Ace does have higher peaks, at least at the moment. Yeah. That's what happened when they played last round. All right, and again, it's going to be a long sync up pause. Yeah, as a as I described it, I described it as the the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. Yeah. Where Ace is the unstoppable force, sweeping through all the uh, world records, and Mike is the immovable object, just not like being so consistent and so difficult. Of course, there's no such thing as an immovable force. Or an immovable object and an unstoppable force. Yeah, and but if there whatever. were, they would pass through each other because that's how death they 